Hey guys, here with a new hero on Korean Lost Saga. This is known as Alice, uh, based off of Alice in Wonderland, or one incarnation of it or another. <laughs> uh, right now I got the Mad Hatter Mill version out right here. Uh, so yeah, it's a normal character, not premium or legendary, so that's always a good thing. So let's check her out here. So three hit basics, two, three, third hit will stun. And this is with a doll form, you have two forms. Uh, ideal follow-ups off this stun are your air dasher, which will do a nice lifter and allow you to go into some air attacks. Uh, that's pretty nice. Or you can go straight into your minigun, swap to that, and then just, you know, do the lifter with the minigun because the minigun will lift off feints. So those are two good options for the stun feint if you get it. Uh, so talk a little bit about your minigun, which is your whole D. Your whole D, you use your whole D to swap into your minigun form. It locks out your trinket, helmet, and armor, and you cannot swap. So like a lot of uh, transformation passives, it does that kind of restriction. Uh, so in this form you get new attacks, so your basics change, you get a 4 hit basics, 3, 4, 4 hit will launch, and you can do these back to back here, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, so pretty nice and easy. Uh, each of these uh, attacks with your basics uh, consumes 5 meter of your passive, so if you do all 4 you use 20 meter of your passive. So you gotta think about a little bit about your passive management, but it does recharge very quickly, so uh, you will not miss out on too much if you use your passive very quickly you'll have it back in no time. So uh, to swap back to your doll, you can simply hit your block button. It's a very fluent process. It's very quick, very painless. So you can change up really quickly if you like. And you can do that in your other uh, doll form as well. You have options. Uh, so moving on, dash attacks. So your uh, two hit dasher with the doll. Uh, second hits a knock up. Uh, pretty simple. And it does have kind of a funny jump cancel to it. It's not like instant. Uh, jump cancel, you gotta kinda time it, but it does, is kind of a jump cancel. Uh, kinda had a lag there. Let's try this. So you can go into your jump attacks off this. It's kinda funny hitbox on DFK, I apologize for that. Uh, your dash attacks on your uh, chain gun form. Uh, your first part is actually a 360 degree uh, knockback flincher, so very interesting there. We'll use it on a crowd in a second. And you have an option to follow that up with a launcher as well, so very nice there. Let's get a crowd out here and show how devastating that uh, chain gun dasher is. So you can see this is pretty impressive here. It's got really good range on it, really good uh, effects on it, so really nice. And it does consume your passive, but it only uses 5 meter of it, so not too bad. So moving on, awesome stuff so far, guys. So jump attacks. So you probably saw me use the jump attack on the doll a little bit. It's a 3 hitter, but it resets itself up to 2 times. Uh, if you manage to hit the f from just the regular jump, uh, you'll be able to do, do it up to nine times. So two, three, two, three, one, two, three, and there you go. So fun stuff there. Uh, and you can see this jump attack if you manage to hit like six hits in a row. Uh, I'm not sure if it's just like six hits or what. Let me try this. This is very frustrating, guys. So yeah, if you manage to hit six hits in a row, it looks like uh, you'll manage to do some kind of weird falling status on someone, which does a little extra damage. So here's that falling status. So it's an interesting, like, kind of gravity kind of weird thing. I don't know how to describe that. Uh, you also have your air dasher on your doll. So your air dasher is a simple, nice uh, kind of gap closer, which is really, really nice, and you can follow it up with your um, air attacks pretty easily. So it's really, really reliable and nice. It's a pretty cool. Uh, also, you can swap with your whole D to your chain gun in the air, and that can be a, a good thing as well, because you can go into your chain gun air attacks pretty easily. Your chain gun air attacks, this is a whole nother beast in itself. It's a three hitter, so one, two, three. Uh, the third hit is interesting. Uh, let me go ahead and go through the hits. All three hits will actually hit grounded in the chain gun form, uh, but the chain gun form jump attacks do consume 10 meter of your passive each. Uh, so if you manage to connect the third hit, which is like a circular ring, uh, it will manage to feint someone. But otherwise, uh, it's really kind of awkward to aim at times. You have to really have good positioning. Because if you're right over them, uh, sometimes it's usually going to miss. Uh, let me go ahead and try and demonstrate that. I'm not having trouble missing at the moment. Maybe I kind of like uh, overestimated how... There, there's a miss. So you can see it's a circular hit, but it'll hit back to back and manage to feint someone. So. Really cool there. Uh, if you do hit grounded with this, it will end up lifting off grounded. And you can go into your air dasher, which will allow you to do some extra combos, which is really, really awesome to do. Uh, so your air dasher on your minigun, which I didn't really mention too well. It's a different attack. It launches into the air if you hit standing. So, And if you hit airborne with it, 
it'll kind of relaunch, uh, but you gotta kind of uh, get it get it right. <laughs> so it's really awesome. So your ideal thing with that would be like doing this combo, and then managing to uh, like kind of knock them up there and then go into some more hits of it. So not too hard. It looks hard, but it's not all that hard. So it's really awesome. So let's check out our defensive properties with Alice here, with our robot friends. Say hello to them. Long time no see. So your armor works as a half faint counter. Really nice there. Uh, and you also have dun, 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 a counter attack, which is a half faint counter. So that is pretty nice itself. Oops, messed up. Not the best at counter, uh, or Lost Saga style counters. So there you go, simple half faint, not too bad. So armor, half faint counter, and simple counter, half faint counter. <laughs> so moving on, skills, weapon skill, weapon skill, you move around shooting a bunch of, I believe that's hearts, and knocking someone up into the air, and just knocking them around, being a bully. Uh, this does hit really, really well for crowds, pretty good SD gear I would say. This would be a pretty clutch uh, gear here to uh, throw out and win a round that you're outnumbered in SD. That'd be pretty nice. <laughs> uh, the weapons, the weapon skill version in the chain gun is pretty much the same. It looks like it might be a little bit quicker. I'm not too sure, but other oh, overall, it looks about the same. Uh, your armor skill this is a simple knockup. Uh, you can go into some juggles off that if you're pretty good with it, and it will hit grounded as well. And again, it does work as a defensive uh, half encounter, so that's always nice as well. So you can get some juggles off that thing. It's a pretty nice. Uh, your helmet, it's a little teacup ride. We're going to pull out a crowd for this one. A little teacup ride, send someone in a teacup, which is kind of bugged in HQ at the moment. I'm sorry I can't adequately demonstrate it, guys, but he'll just do some things <laughs> with people and, you know, jerk them around and mess them up. So, uh, it goes for a while. Uh, I wish it would work in HQ. It's hard to describe. Uh, you know, look up the skill video, I would say. <laughs> look up the skill video. Um, you know, it's. It's in the mini preview compilation that I posted. Uh, so Trinket, and this one is bugged as well. You throw out your Cheshire Cat, and it's supposed to put someone in like a little balloon, which you can hit, but at the moment it seems bugged in HQ, and it will not do its intended effect right now. It's just doing some weird lag sensitive kind of thing. So yeah, fortunate there guys, two little bugs with those two skills. Hopefully it's just something that's gonna get fixed and not, in, not something from lag. Because I don't think I should be lagging in an HQ. I don't know. There's some funny things going on. <laughs> so yeah, that's it for Alice, guys. Really fun character. Really fun. I really like this chain gun mode. This chain gun mode is going to be something special. Uh, you're really going to want to abuse the air attacks. Uh, which do, do consume a lot of your passive, but uh, for good reason. <laughs> for very good reason. Uh, that consumes a lot of your passive. Your air dasher on your doll is really, really awesome. As long as you can get, get the timing down correctly. Uh, let it come out and go into it. Really awesome there. You can have time to swap into your chain gun and uh, do some amazing things. So I'll try. I'll try one quick combo here. We'll try one quick combo. We could do a little big combo, I would say, on Alice. Let's try and get something nice here. Swap into the chain gun really quickly. Go into that. Oh, beautiful. So that's a simple combo, guys. That was pretty fun looking though. Uh, so pretty fun to do too so thanks for watching guys hopefully you enjoyed this video and hopefully we see you guys next time